Hi my loves and welcome to today's video. So sorry for my hair today. We have a situation going on. Let's let's forget about it. Okay, let's let's not talk about that. However, there is something very exciting. Here's the thing: I just got a delivery like five minutes ago from Huda Beauty, and this is the new retrograde. Mercury Retrograde Palette. The packaging looks really cool on camera, by the way. But here's the thing. It's coming out today, so I'm immediately filming this and putting it up. So we're going to be very chill in this video, talk about the makeup, do some swatches, do a little look, just to see what this little baby is made of. Because again, it's coming out today, and this is what the inside looks like. Okay, so the first thing I need to say about the packaging is that it's so so good it's not made of um how do you call, call it board carton board i don't know how you call that i'm sorry but this one is made exactly the same way as the small palettes like the new ones for like the nude collection or the neon collection and i love that packaging because it's like solid it's plastic and it's not very heavy and you like the mirror and everything is like very well protected I love the packaging. I know I get excited about this, but I think like having a packaging that's, I spilled my foundation on the table. Hi. <laughs> but having a packaging that's like very like going to protect your palette that you invest in is amazing. And yeah, so here is a close up of the palette. So this is what the exterior looks like. You have Huda Beauty's beautiful eyes and a look, and you can see like the packaging changes color. It's really cool. Then here we have all the shades. There are also three brushes that have like double sides, which I really like because these are very good quality. Even her face brushes, there's one that's like for the powder and stuff. I use it all the time because it's very easy to like take with yourself like during the day and retouch your makeup because you have two different sides. So I kind of like that and the packaging is also like kind of purpley like to match the palette so in this palette we have 18 shades and four different textures we have nine mattes we have six high shine creamy metallics so not just shimmer they're metallics we have one glitter powder we love glitter and two sheer multi-reflective shadows so i love the fact that like they are not all the same and you can kind of like build and play with them I really like that. So for the swatches, as always, we're gonna call the hubby. And here is my beautiful guest. Hi. Here's Hi. our model for the day. <laughs> so we're gonna do some swatches on him. Wait, wait, wait. Again, swatches are not my favorite thing in the world, but the palette is coming out, out today. <laughs> It's coming out today, so I want you guys to kind of have like a better look at the palette. So I'm going to start swatching from this side to this side, from this side to this side, from this side to this side. So the first shade is called Cosmic. Uh, should I start here? I guess this is Cosmic. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I love hearing his reactions. If he's reacting, it really means it's bomb. Next one is Utopia, which is such a beautiful peachy color and i live for peachy shades in general so like that i love it next we have ultraviolet okay when you touch them they're almost like um almost like a gel in a good way meaning like they're like very buttery when you touch them we will do a close-up by the way next we have nebula wow this one is beautiful just touching it Wow, you guys, this one is gorgeous. I don't know if it's reflecting correctly on the screen, but this looks very beautiful. Next we have, I think this is my favorite shade, Mercury, because I like those. Ooh, she's pretty. Next we have Haze, which is like kind of a turquoise uh, matte shade. Sorry. Work those muscles, work those muscles, babe. Oh! Ooh. That's pretty, right? Wait, I need to clean my, my, my hand. One thing. Okay, let's continue. This is the second row of balance. Sorry for the outside if you can hear the noise. This is like a very beautiful mauve shade. Next we have Galaxy, which is such a go-to color, you guys. 
Like this is the type of color you can use anytime. I'm a basic bitch, so a good gold, you know I love that. Next we have Libra, which is more purple, like more lilac, I would say. Really beautiful. You guys, these are really pigmented. I was, I'm gonna be honest, I know that some people don't like when colors are very pastel and stuff like that because it tends to not show enough, but these, like, look at these two pastel colors. Like, they're really, really good. Next we have the shade Crush which is kind of a, has a gray undertone. Then we have Momentum, which is a beautiful light nude. See, this, this is very pigmented too. Next we have Super Moon, and I feel like the texture on this one looks very different. Very like gel and glitter, wait. I'm sure. We just realized that we didn't hit film while doing this. I'm kind of thinking he's responsible, but I... <laughs> shit happens, okay? I think we were around like the last row. So this shade right here is called Vortex. This one is called Hot Mess. This one is Supernova, which is also a shimmer. Then we have Karma, which is a pretty beautiful kind of like transition shade but it's a lot more peachy than a traditional then we have this one right here called gold glitch this one has exactly the same texture as this one right here very like gel and like almost uh, how do you say that foiled like very 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 thick and beautiful it applies like a dream and then the last one is called frazzled are you dying <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the dog in the mind. I cannot. He's always sitting behind me, by the way, guys, which you don't see. Then the last color, the last color right here is frazzled, and that one is the same texture as like the other ones here. Uh, for now, I would say that the, my favorite colors are probably um, Mercury because of the beautiful, like very like different type of blue. Then I really like this one. I think this one is Supernova. Vortex. I, vortex. He really, he kept repeating this word. I wish we filmed that part. <laughs> vortex is like a matte one. Yeah. yeah. So I think that the palette looks beautiful. Let's, let's do a close up now. Good job. It's so hard to be a model. <laughs> you can see him breathing. He's like dying. Come on, work. Okay, so now let's do the actual makeup because that's what matters the most. I'm taking a little bit of my Urban Decay Potion Primer because I forgot to apply my concealer on my eyes today. I, I don't know why I like using a concealer even more. Mm, I'm gonna take one of her brushes actually and I'm just gonna blend that first. Ah, wait, I have a mirror. Okay, there are constructions going on in the like next building. So if you hear some stuff happening, I'm sorry. So I would say that the cool thing about this palette is the color scheme is very different. Right now it's fall, a lot of people are coming with the same type of palettes, which I love and adore, but I really like the versatility in this one because at the end of the day, if you take out these two, none of these colors are hard to use. You know what I mean? They are a little bit more fun, a little bit different, a little bit more pastel, a little bit more that. But in general, I find the palette very easy to use, honestly. Like, I wasn't expecting to be as like in love as I am right now when I actually had it in hands. Seeing it online, I was like, oh, that's a really beautiful palette. But like, it's a, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to create many looks with it because I'm so like classic in my looks. But actually, beside these two colors, nothing is hard to use here in a good way. Like you're gonna be able to use and do so many looks, but it's not like a very like hard palette to use. So I'm just gonna say again that this color is definitely my favorite because this is a type of blue you never see. Like this is very turquoise and metallic and beautiful. But for today, I'm probably going to go with something else just to like see some other colors. I don't know. So let's start with some of the transition shades. I'm gonna use a little bit of her brushes, but mostly mine because like a few, like three brushes is not enough for me. 
Um, I think we're gonna start with the shade Crush right here. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna pick a little bit with my brush. And we're gonna start applying that here. I feel like the undertones in the matte shades are very different from, from, from most of the palettes I have. Sirens, sorry, welcome to LA. So now I'm just taking my Amorphe brush, I think, yeah, Amorphe brush. It's a very fluffy brush and I'm just like blending everything out. This color is pretty, I like it. Next, I think we're going to go in the shade Off Balance right here, right here. Sorry, sometimes you don't really see the palette. It has a lot of reflection in it with my lights, but the packaging is so cute. So I'm applying that to the same space right here. The pigments are really good, you guys, really good. I feel like my camera is washing out a little bit of the color. Wait, maybe it's too light. Is it too light? Can you see better? I feel like here you can see better. I put it a little darker. Same thing, I'm going back to the bigger blending brush and just blend everything together. This really blends well too. My hair is a mess, my brows are all a little bit of a mess. That's it. Let me see. I really like the combo so far. So next I'm going into the shade Hot Mess right here. Like, I love how you have everything to create a look and at the same time, maybe I'm repeating myself here, but none of the shades are the traditional undertones. Like, they all have a little bit more of purple in them than brown and I think it's gonna help like variate the looks a lot more than usual. I'm kind of excited about that. So I'm still applying the shade Hot Mess right here. And directly on top, I'm going to go into this shade Vortex. I don't know how to pronounce it. And adding that a little bit on top to darker, to darken everything. And now I'm taking the same brush we used before and I'm just kind of blending a little bit. You know what, I think I'm gonna do something really crazy and on this side we are going to use some other colors just so we can see what we can get out of the palette, you know? And this is not meant for me to look cute, this is meant for you guys to see what we can do with the palette, so let's do this. On the other side, I'm going to start with the shade Utopia first, which is such a beautiful peachy color. I love it. Wait, this brush is too small, I like a bigger brush. I'm just adding that shade right here, like this. It's really pretty, you guys. I'm gonna be honest, I always am obsessed with the small palette they make, the obsession ones, because they're like so good to me. Like, these palettes are my favorites. Like, I have a, a thing with palettes where I'm like, I can use anything, but at the same time, I don't get overexcited about many and like, this one gets me really excited, which is weird for the colors, I know. But I feel like you can have fun and stay like within your comfort zone at the same time. It's like, oh, I'm spicing it up a little bit with like a different undertone or a little bit of like more texture, like because like these are very like metallic and stuff, but it still is like a very beautiful, easy to wear palette now, I feel like. I like it. Okay, here's one thing I'm missing. I think I'm missing one brown shade because I'm so basic. And like, for example, with this peach color, a little bit of brown to darken it will have been perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to still go with hot, hot mess in there, but I wish it was something that was like matching more my peach vibe. Oh, actually it matches pretty well, wait. I'm just so traditional with my makeup right now. Hmm, this looks really beautiful. Now I'm taking a little bit more of the shade Utopia and on top I'm just gonna like blend it together. Mm, I like it. So on this side right here, what I really want to do is try the shade Nebula, which is like so stunning. So I'm taking that with a brush, a flat brush, and it's honestly mostly glitter. So let's see how, ooh, that applies, wow. Well, well, well. Okay, 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 I see ya. 
This is so beautiful. I wasn't expecting it to apply this well. Like it's sitting, like I have no fallout, you guys. Nothing fell out. Okay. I okay. I feel like I'm going I'm going back a little bit and adding a tad more to really cover everything. Oh my god, I like it. And next I'm going in the shade Ultraviolet. And let's see what we get of this one. This one is almost like Gel, I'm not joking. Like the texture of these is so different than anything I ever tried before. Okay, let's see how this looks. Ooh. Wow, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna apply this all over, even over the glitter. Kind of mix them together. Okay, this is pretty. I'm going back into Nebula, all the glitter and stuff, and I'm just taking some more and adding on top. It's sticking so well without anything, but like, wow, I, I love this. Okay, you know what? I'm taking a small brush and I'm going into the shade Vortex and I'm just going to darken the outer corner here. I feel like it will like make more sense with the glitter. Make it pop. Another thing I really want to say is that there is absolutely no fallout whatsoever. Like nothing. And I like that. I don't like messy makeup. Okay, now for this side, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna grab some of the shade Karma with a bigger brush and go on top of this whole thing we were doing because I want to try the shade Mercury and I feel like I need to tone it down a little. So I'm mixing Crush and Karma together and just like randomly applying here. And now, for the exciting part, I'm grabbing a flat brush and I'm going into the shade Mercury. Ooh, she's pretty. So I feel like because of the texture of these, because they have a little bit of the gel type of texture, you can be so precise with them. I didn't like even need to use a concealer first. I feel like I can cut a little bit of the crease just by using it. Look at the color, you guys. I'm obsessed. This color is just gorgeous. Like. Just gorgeous. What I'm gonna try to do now is take this little brush from Huda Beauty and I'm going into the shade Haze and I'm kind of going to add that to the edge and kind of like try to blend just so like the line looks a little bit less perfect. Let me grab a bigger brush. Applying a little bit more here. Okay, actually with this type of texture shade don't hesitate to use a bigger brush. It actually works very well with a bigger brush. Okay, let's blend a little bit more. Okay, this color, I'm sorry, but this is like so beautiful. Okay, what I wanted to do now is see how like these two that are exactly the same texture can be used as toppers. So I'm barely touching it with my finger and I want to apply that kind of in the middle. Ooh, you see how that's adding like a little bit of reflection in there? Let me add a little bit more. Ooh, I like this. I like toppers. I like glitter. So, so far, I like everything. But here's the thing. I have to say one thing is that I wish we had one darker color. Like I was saying, a brown, maybe a black or something, so we can spice it up. But let's be honest, we all have multiple palettes that have it inside, so it's like not the end of the world. Um, what I wanted to do now, okay, I really like this type of brush, by the way. Like they're like flat and shorter for underneath. So let's use two different shades here too. So I'm going to go with the shade Haze underneath this one. So just we keep like the pop of color going. Now I'm gonna take a flat brush, take some of the shade Mercury and add really to like almost to the waterline. On the other side, I feel like we're gonna use the shade Hot Mess. This color is very, very, very beautiful. Okay, let me add some mascara. Should I add lashes or is this gonna be too much? Uh, let me add some mascara first. Okay, I feel like we can work this without adding lashes. I'm adding just a little bit of gloss. This looks like I made an effort. Why am I talking like this? I love this gloss so freaking much. 
This is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. And it's like so pretty. Like the texture and everything, I really like it. Anyway, here's the thing. This is like our final looks. Like this is really beautiful colors. I'm really not mad about these. Okay, now looking at myself, I don't really look that credible. I look a little bit crazy, but well, each side is hot by itself, okay? <laughs> so no, seriously, I love, love the textures. I love the formulas. This is different. Like, I have to say it, There, like I wasn't always like the biggest fan of each product, but this palette, this is different. The texture in these are very different. The colors and the undertones of the shades that you will think are classic, like Karma, like Crush, like most of them is different because the undertone has a little bit more purple, has a little bit more of that Mercury vibe. So I really, really like everything about this palette. Concerning the brushes, I'll say that I really like this one. These type of brushes, I'm going, I know that I'm going to use this on a daily basis for underneath because I don't like using any type of brush for that part. The only brush I'm not too much of a fan of is maybe this one. I don't create like super precise looks and everything. So for me, I'm more like on the classic side, having like good blending brushes and like when it's precision, it's mostly for underneath or to cut a crease or something. So that being said, would I recommend this palette? Yes. Like, this is a palette that got me very excited, and you guys know me. Like, if you watch my videos, there isn't that many palettes that get me excited. Most of the time, I don't even review them because I'm like, this is a good palette, this is a good product, but I don't have much to say. So, this one is different. I really like the formulas. I like everything. I like the colors. They are different, but not too crazy. Like, beside this color right here, most of them are very easy to work with and very wearable. Like even this one, you don't have like to blast it all over you. Uh, you can like use it in a more subtle way, but I like it. I like the look, the quality is amazing. And the new packaging is definitely a plus for me. Like this new packaging, please guys keep it like this because this is gorgeous. So yeah, that being said, thank you for watching you guys. I'll link down below if it's already available on Sephora. Yeah. I love you guys, have an amazing day, I will see you in the next one. And by the way, let me know if there's any type of videos you want to see or any review. I like reviews better because they're like, just me trying a product and liking or not liking it. So let me know in the comments if you have any favorites or anything new that's coming out and that you want me to try. I love you so much, bye.